Hey, Krista's Chalking Crew. My name is Krista Mahon from Cincinnati, Ohio, independent designer with Chalk Couture, and I'm the leader of Krista's Chalking Crew. So today we're gonna go ahead and um, paste, um, we did it together. Now this is a size C transfer that I actually cut into pieces. So it had all these different things on it, and it was one big transfer, and I cut it up. So what we're gonna do today is take one piece of this, and I have my nice state of Ohio, um, and we're gonna actually just chalk this on there, and then also I'm going to add a little heart for where we live in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I'm gonna go ahead and chalk this, and then we'll put the heart on. So we have our feathering cloth, and we're just gonna take this and peel it off. And this one I do mark the back and the front of each piece I cut, and this one I just call it home, so, because it's big. Um, every piece in the transfer bag, since they are reusable, uh, we go ahead and mark them. So we fuzz it to pick up a little bit of lint, um, so it doesn't stick to our surface so well that it won't come off. Um, I wanna make sure, obviously, this fits in. Um, here's our middle hanging. Um, that looks a little crooked. So I'm gonna try to get in the middle. And we're gonna push this down, and then we're gonna put our little heart. I have a uh, backer sheet. Uh, we sell these uh, backer sheets, and I just combined all my hearts that I get on little, all the transfers that might be little. So I just combined them and put them um, on these transfer backings. So I love this heart right here, or this one. Um, I think I'm gonna use the clean cut one since the font on here is clean cut. And this is where I live, so we're gonna put a little heart there. I picked uh, candy apple and uh, bright white. So we will use those two paste. And we're using the chalkable washable paste, um, but when we're chalking on wood, it's pretty much permanent because it gets in the grain of the wood and um, at that point you can sand it off and repaint something, but it's just not gonna wash off. Okay, and um, if you do chalkboard, metal, uh, glass, um, plastic, that will scrub off. The chalkable, uh, washable paste will uh, scrub off, but when it's on wood, it's kind of permanent. <laughs> so I'm gonna miss out a candy apple, but I think it's gonna be okay. Let's just do our heart while we're on it. So we just squeegee it right on. And then we will peel the transfer off. And right next to me, I have a bath of water that I put my squeegee in and my um, transfers. It's highly recommended that you do not leave them in the water. They are reusable eight to 12 times, but the faster you clean them, the better. So I clean them as I go. And then we always wanna dry sticky side up. Okay, so I use paper towels. Um, it just works better for me. And that won't be dry right now, but we're not going to hit it, so we should be um, okay. I think this might be. I'm moving my fuzzing cloth because I want to make sure that it's lined up. For some reason, it looks like it might not have been in the center here. I am obviously chalking on something that's kind of an off shape. <laughs> so that's always fun. It needs to come over more, I wanted to say, but I don't want to. If I lose my little period down there, I'm not too worried about it. Just to make sure all the bubbles are out. Sometimes to use, um, get the bubbles out to help, I will um, use the flat side of the squeegee um, to help. Sometimes you can hear the air bubbles come out when you do this. And I'm not going to worry about this line. That was part of the transfer before I um, obviously cut it up. So... I'm just going to dip the regular size squeegee in our white. I did this before and it actually, um, I must have been going too slow because it dried on me. So I'm hoping this time it doesn't dry on me. If it does, we can always use the peel and reveal where we peel it up a little bit as we go. But I think I just took too long last time. So I think we're going to be good this time. I'm just going to smooth it out, make sure the lines are done, I mean smooth out, and we are going to peel it. Oh, it looks great. OK, 
Okay, so home is love. Home is where love resides. Memories are created. Friends always belong and laughter never ends. It's perfect. I love it. I have one more project with another state of Ohio if you want to hang tight. I will show you that in one second. Let me just get this cleaned off. Might as well do both, right? And this uh, C size transfer is available still and it is one big transfer that I cut up to use all the different pieces, which I have a full one too that I have chalked, but um, this one is um, the one that was cut up, so that's why I used it. Okay, so we're just gonna move this project. Love how that one turned out. And then we're gonna go to another one, which is Love Brings Us Home. So another state of Ohio, and this is the A size transfer, Love Brings Us Home. It's adorable, I love it. You can either leave it whole like that, okay? It comes with these little pieces and parts as well. So I left this one in here, so I'm gonna use the heart out of here. Now, you can change this love or home or house there or house here. I'm gonna leave it as is because I'm using this heart and I just want the, um, the words. I've done this one several times, different ways. Um, I love it no matter what. So let's just peel this off and we're gonna fuzz our heart. We'll just fuzz this at the same time. And these are marked front and back. We have used these several times, so. And usually if I take care of them, um, I usually get more than eight to 12 times. Um, but it just all depends on if you take care of the transfers. I'll do that right in the middle here. Move my heart a little bit closer. Okay, we're gonna use our candy apple red again with the mini squeegee. There's that. And the squeegees and everything, tools, stir sticks, those all go into the bath of water. I do clean those up when I'm finished. They are reusable. I've been using my same uh, squeegees and stir sticks since the very beginning. So they do last a pretty long time. Okay, so I am gonna get a new squeegee. You do not wanna use um, the dried paste. I mean, it's, it's a little bit thicker. The thicker um, the paste is, um, it does dry faster. So you want to make sure that either you can wipe that one clean or grab another one. So I'm just going to grab another one. And I'm going to do this one in white as well. So I'm just going to squeegee it on. I always start at the top and work my way down. And on wood, it does dry a little bit faster. So I just work quickly, bring it down. I try to get the lines out at the end. To get the lines out, I just um, ease my pressure and I will just go over it lightly. And you can kind of see the grain of the wood in here too. So it's not just lines sometimes. I'm just easing my pressure. Okay. And then we're gonna pull it off. Love it. I'll get both projects out so you can see. I usually uh, post pictures, go live in my Facebook group on Sundays. I post pictures on Mondays that everything completed that weekend. And um, if you wanna follow me on Facebook, um, my search engine for at Krista's Chalking Crew is at Chalk Like a Boss. So if you wanna follow me over there, that would be amazing. Let's get both together and look at it which one we like so we have love brings us home and then home is where love resides memories are created friends always belong and laughter never ends so thank you guys for joining me i appreciate it have a wonderful day and i will talk to you later Bye bye